Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to scrape website with Java. You will need a basic understanding of the Java language, Maven and a web browser. As an example, I will show you how to scrape Craigslist search page and export the results into a JSON array. I'm going to search for an iPhone 8 and see what happens. Here we have a huge list of results and as you can see, there are several parameters in the URL. This is the request that we are going to reproduce in our Java code. You can see the, the HTML code for a specific item with a right click on an element and then inspect. All these items are list elements with a class result row. If you move your mouse on a DOM element, Chrome will highlight this element on the page. It's a really nice feature to visualize how the page is structured. If we expand the inner HTML of an item, we can see the HTML code for the price, title, etc. These are the information that we are going to extract with our code. Now let's create a new project and add some dependencies to our pom.xml. We will use HTML unit, which is a headless browser for Java. A headless browser is basically a browser without any graphical interface. We can control HTML unit with our Java code and since it doesn't need any graphic interface, it can also be run on the server. You can do many things with HTML units, such as making HTTP requests, selecting DOM elements, submitting forms, executing JavaScript, or manipulating cookies. The next thing we'll need is the Jackson library to convert Java objects to JSON format. I've created an item class to store Craigslist results. It's a really basic class with three fields, a title, a price, and the URL. I could have added many more fields, like the location, the image URL, the item description, but for this example, this will be enough. I've created a simple class called Scraper with a main entry point. We will need an HTTP client to perform the initial request. HTML unit provides an HTTP client called Web Client. We can set some options, such as enabling JavaScript, enabling CSS, or setting a proxy, and lots of other options, as you can see. Then we will need the search URL that you can copy from your browser address bar. Now we have to create an HTML object to receive the content and tell our client to go to the search URL. And then I just print the HTML code we received from the server into the console. I'm going to run this code again in debug mode to show you some interesting methods. I'm selecting every items on the page with an XPath expression. XPath is a query language for selecting HTML nodes. I'm not going to teach you XPath in this video, but you will find lots of information about it in my book or elsewhere online. The first XPath expression we are going to use is the one we saw earlier, this one. We need to use the getByXPath method on our HTML page object. It will return a list of all the elements matching this expression. If you want to get only one element, you need to use get first by XPath. As you can see, it returns the 120 items that are on the result page. The first thing we need is a list of HTML elements to store every items on the result page. We have to check if this list is empty. Then we iterate through this list and for each element we will extract the title, URL and price. The URL and the title are inside an anchor element, as you can see here. The XPath expression is easy. It's an anchor located just after a P element with a class result info. Same thing for the price, located in a span tag with a class result price. 
it's possible that an item doesn't have any price, so we have to check this. And then we can create an item object and set all the properties. For the price, we have to get rid of the dollar sign since it's a big decimal. And we can now use the Jackson library to convert our item object to a JSON string and print it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to learn more about this subject, you can check out my book, The Java Web Scraping Handbook. You can find the link in the description. I also have a blog where I wrote many posts about web scraping with Java. Don't hesitate to give me some feedback in the comments. See you soon for the next tutorial.